everybody. Welcome to our children's talk from Beverly Minster for uh, today, which is the fifth Sunday of Lent. So it's the 29th of March 2020. So here's uh, me and Isla here. Isla, do you want to say hello? Hello. And because we're doing church from home, it means Isla can wear whatever she wants. So what are you wearing today, Isla? My Anna costume. Her Anna costume with a head torch around her waist, obviously. Anyway, so today the gospel reading from the communion service has been about a man called Lazarus um, and it's from John's gospel. In the story there are some points where we're really happy and some where we're really sad. So to help see where we are in the story, I've got my paper plate here Isla. And what type of face is this? A happy. A happy face. And what type of face is that? A sad face. This is the level of my drawing skills. I'm sure you guys can do better. Now we thought while we do the story you guys might also want to get a paper plate if you have one or just a piece of card or paper cut into a circle and you can do your happy face on one side which Isla is going to do in a second and your sad face on the other and then during the story when we get to the happy bits and the sad bits we can hold it up to see where we are. Um, so the story I'm reading is from Happy. my first Bible stories and this story is called Jesus Raises the Dead. Are you ready Isla? Excellent. When Jesus was in Jerusalem he often stayed with his friends Mary, Martha and their brother Lazarus and because they were friends he was happy. So you hold that up Isla. Once while Jesus was teaching outside the city, Mary sent a message to him, telling him that her brother Lazarus was very ill. So is he, she happy or sad, Isla? Sad. Sad, so can you turn it your way so we can see that? Well done. She wanted Jesus to go to Lazarus and make him well again. But when Jesus arrived two days later, Lazarus had already died. Hold it still. Lord, if you had arrived earlier, my brother would still be alive, Martha cried. When Jesus saw how sad his friends were, he cried too. So we're really sad now, aren't we, Isla? Lazarus will live again, Jesus said. Take me to him. Now Lazarus's body had been placed in a large cave and a huge rock had been put in front of its entrance. Can you see the large cave there, Isla? And the big rock? Stop doing that, sweetie. Good girl. Jesus asked that the rock be moved away. When the rock had been moved, all was quiet except for a light breeze rattling the leaves in the trees. If you're really quiet, can you hear the breeze? Then Jesus spoke. Lazarus, come out, he commanded. Everyone gasped when Lazarus stumbled out of a tomb, still wrapped in his grave clothes. Our brother is alive. So what is he? Wept Mary and Martha, who got down on their knees and gave thanks to God. This was one of Jesus' greatest miracles. After hearing of the raising of Lazarus, many more people realised that Jesus was the true Son of God. But there were other people who were afraid of Jesus' powers and wanted to destroy him. Jesus knew that his time on earth would be short and that eventually he would suffer and die. So there we go. That's the story of Jesus bringing Lazarus back from the dead. And it's, that's one version of it. If you want to look it up in your Bible, it's from chapter 11 of the Gospel of John. Now, Isla, I've drawn my happy face and smi un unhappy face. Can you do yours on your piece of card, please? Yeah. Thank you. Now, while you're doing that, this is a story about Jesus doing an amazing miracle. You keep drawing while I talk. talk. Good girl. Raising his friend back to life. And it has a really happy ending. And I think that makes a lot of sense uh, to be reading this story right now. The world 
is very strange at the moment and there are a lot of things that we could be sad about. Happy. That's your happy. Can you do your unhappy face? Because we're going to have to think of some things we're not happy about at the moment. So it might be that we're sad about not being able to see our friends. Does that make you sad, Isla? Yeah. Yeah? You might be sad because you're not at school, being able to see your teachers and do your playing and your learning. You might be sad because people are ill. Do those things make you sad, Isla? Yeah. Are there any other things that make you sad? Yeah. What things make you sad, sweetie? Not at school. Not being at school? No. Can you think of anything else? Yeah. So maybe on your paper plate or piece of card, on the sad side, you could draw some pictures or write some things that make you sad at the moment. But at the end of the story, there's great rejoicing, celebrating and gratitude at what Jesus had done. So for us, what do we have to be grateful for? What makes us happy, Isla? Um, being at school. Well, what makes us happy right now when we're at home? Um, doing Sunday school at home. Doing Sunday school at home makes you happy. Well, there we go. I thought that being able to spend lots of time with our families, that's quite nice, isn't it, Isla? Do you like spending time with mummy and daddy at home? That's about as good as I think I'm going to get there. That's a pink <coughs> smiley face and a pink eyelashes and a purple eyes. And that's... And that's the other way around. Oh. Um, I don't know if you guys have been watching Joe Wicks do his YouTube PE lessons, but I think that's something I've got gratitude for, letting someone use up all her energy. Uh, but there's other things we could do as well. We can look at the stars. We can go out in the garden that's and have a look at nature. Happy. Thank that's you, sweetie. Can you draw some pictures of things that make you happy on that side, please? Please. Thank you. Oh, and on. we've been doing lots of cooking together, and that's something else that is really fun to do. So if you draw the things on your happy side that make you happy, please, Isla. Thank you. Um, now, when you guys are at home doing this, maybe you could get your adult to take some pictures. And if you email them to me on my address, that will be at the bottom of the video, hopefully. Uh, we could somehow put them all together in a big collage. Not sure how yet, but I'm sure I can work it out over the coming weeks. I made it all flapjacks. Oh, I made... oh, flapjacks, see? Cooking together. Uh, now, at the end of the story, Jesus hints that he'll soon be taken away by people who were afraid of him and that he'd have to die. This is what we'll remember in a couple of weeks on Good Friday. But that isn't the end of the story, is it? Our sad faces will be turned upside down on Easter Sunday when we realise that Jesus wins over everything even death itself. So in this time of uncertainty, when it doesn't seem as if we can see an end, when I'm not happy. well done, when it doesn't feel like we can see an end to what we're experiencing, remember that Jesus wept with his friends when they were sad and he was able to overcome death itself to give all of us eternal life. Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll keep posting videos and ideas over the coming weeks as we prepare to celebrate Easter together from our homes. So we look forward to sharing more of that with you as we go on. Take care, everybody. See you soon. Isla, can you say bye?